Hello everyone! Today we are looking into the sewing mechanism of the Wilcox & Gibbs chain stitch sewing machine. To open the cover of the sewing mechanism, simply open the cap by pushing the small lip downwards. To name the parts, we have the cap, the feed surface, the feed bar, and since they move in unison, I will refer to both of them as the feed. The link, the rocker, the stitch regulator, and this is what makes the Wilcox and Gibbs chain stitch. This is called the looper. I place the dime next to the looper to compare its scale. We will start with the first stitch and with the needle at its highest point. As I turn the wheel, the looper starts to revolve. The needle starts its descent and the thread intake is relaxed. After the needle completes its full descent and starts to retract, the hook end of the looper takes the loop thread and the needle continues to move upwards. Meanwhile, the looper revolves with the hook thread and as the thread goes through the wider part of the looper, the thread becomes a twisted loop. At the same time, the needle is going to its second descent. The intake thread is again relaxed, the twisted loop is expanded, and the hook goes through the expanded twisted loop and takes a second loop of thread. The needle retracts, the thread expands on the looper and completes the stitch. After the thread gets twisted and expanded, and the needle is ready with the loop thread, the hook goes through the twisted loop to take the next loop of thread. The thread expands on the looper, and the previous loop tightens. Here you can really see the tightening of the loop. The thread is off the hook and is now on the fabric. This completes the chain stitch. The stitch regulator is set at 12 stitches to an inch. The link lies almost parallel to the cloth plate. Here you can see the hook end of the looper take the loop thread from the needle. The feed is partially down from the surface of the cloth plate. And while the thread moves with the looper, the feed moves the fabric towards the back of the machine. And if you find this video useful, I would appreciate it if you click the like button so it could spread to more people. Thank you for doing that. Now back to the machine. This is set at 30 stitches to an inch. Notice how extended the link is. Again, after taking the loop thread, the thread moves to the looper. The feed moves the cloth and the needle descends again.